All right, to check the dynamic then, um, what we're gonna do is put the arm in the mule chassis. And I went through my arms that I had here in this pile that I'm working on. I, I pre-ran everything. This is the roughest one out of the whole lot. Uh, so it's gonna take a little extra time. This might take a half an hour, I don't know. They, you know, they, they kinda average a little less than that. And sometimes you can put one in there and, and it doesn't take hardly any work at all. You know, you, like one out of 10, maybe two out of 10. Hey, they're smooth. They're really nice and smooth from the get-go. And then there's like one or two out of ten that are maybe like this, and then there's a bunch of other ones in the middle that are that are a little easier to deal with. And but you do have to do some balancing on it. So I thought I'd just pick the worst one, just show you what it looks like. Uh, I've done a lot of these, so I, I know a little bit. And I I, I kind of got a feel for how to do this stuff after you do a few of these. And I've done a bunch. So um, put a little oil on top plate. clip. Make sure it stays oiled pretty good. Um, don't worry about the, you know, if you get oil in the motor brushes, well, just clean them up or replace them as you go here because um, you want to have a lot of oil on here so you can get consistent results as you go. And you don't want to dry it out in the middle of the run or anything like that. So anyhow, so got this thing on like yeah, 19 volts or something and I'm just spin it up. It's kind of rough. Okay, so it's kind of rough. So what I do is I take my uh, take my gear and I, I got a red side and I got a, one side colored red. Um, so I always have that one up just for consistency, no other reason. And just kind of randomly stick this on here. And it's it's this hole's tight enough so it, it will fit on the arm without easily spinning. I can push it on, but, uh, you know, it's not going to spin or something or, and come off while I'm, while I'm running the arm. So I just put on a random spot and run it. Kind of got lucky. It runs pretty smooth at that spot. Okay. So basically what I'm going to do is just going to turn this around and, you know, I'm holding the arm steady with my toothpick and I'm going to so I'm kind of holding the arm steady with my toothpick here. Man, this light. This light's just kind of getting away on me. All right, so I'm holding it with a toothpick, and, I, and I'm spinning the gear with my fingers, you can see. And then try it again. That's not as good. I'm going to keep going a little bit. Okay, so that's definitely getting worse. So let's go the other way. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin it back. Sound a little better. What I'm trying to do is find a spot where it's the best, and then I'm going to mark that, and then we're going to do some cutting. That sounds pretty decent there. This one, that's definitely worse. So this one's pretty bad, so I'm not getting to a really smooth spot at all. I'm just kind of having to make a judgment call on where it sounds the best. And I think it's right about here. That's, that's pretty smooth. It's not awesome, but it's pretty smooth. So I'll, I'll take and mark it there. So basically what I'm going to do uh, is I need to mark where that uh, that weight is here. I'm going to mark where that weight is relative to the arm, so I, I know where to cut it. So uh, when I look at this, that weight lines up with the with the solder tab, so I can't get in there all the way with my pen. So what I'm going to do is mark opposite the weight on the top of the arm with this little black marker here. So when I had it on there, when this was on there, that weight, gotta find it on there. It was sitting on there like this. 
Okay, so that heavy side will cancel out the, the opposite heavy side on the arm. So it's heavy here and heavy up here where I put that little black mark. Okay, so what I need to do is cut off the heavy side of the arm a little bit down here on the solder tab and then get on top of the arm here and cut some up here. And that'll, so the statically that's going to be balanced. I'm going to remove the same amount of weight on this side as I do over here. It's just that they're not in plane with each other. So I'm going to move the weight down here and up here. And that'll balance out what this thing was showing me. Okay? So what I'm going to do, get this stuff out of the way a little bit. And I got my trusty moto tool here with a, uh, um, the diamond cutting bit on it. That's usually what I use here. It uh, makes quick work. And it takes the uh, skills of a surgeon here, so you're going to have to hold steady and, and don't get loose here because if you cut a wire on the arm or something like that, then you can just throw that arm in the trash, right? So uh, what I'm going to do, I, I, I usually do this in front of a vacuum cleaner, but that's too noisy, so I'm just going to do it here. Uh, you really don't want to breathe this, this stuff that's coming off of here, especially the, um, the stuff that comes off the uh, commutator. It's uh, you know, basically fiberglass, so... Um, that's, that's really not good for you. So, um, anyway, uh, I'm going to cut a little here. I'm going to cut a little up here and, uh, let's see how it goes. This one's pretty bad, so I'm, I'm cutting a pretty good chunk off. And I'm kind of guessing at how much to take off. I, you know, it, I, I want to take off an approximately equal mass on both sides, of course. I've done enough of these, I can kind of guess at it. Uh, if you don't know, then you got to go back to, you know, you remove some material and you go back to do the static balance again just to make sure that the sides are equal to each other. Um, so what I'm going to do is find my mule, which I stuck way over here, and put this guy back in there. Clip it on. Put oil. So it's still out of balance, but it sounds better. So it's it's definitely an improvement. So I'll take this and put it back on kind of where it was. So that's That's the weight on the top. Over here is where I was cutting. Oh, I gotta show it here. Here's the weight on the top, and over here is where I was cutting. So this is, this should run pretty good when I do this. Actually, it does. So that, what that means, it, it probably means I didn't take enough off. Because it's pretty smooth now. Uh, but before we do any more cutting, I'm just gonna move it around a little bit, one way and the other. Because like, like I said, that first one was kind of a guess, because it, it didn't come in all the way to be smooth. Okay, it's. It's a little rough there, so I'm gonna back it up. This is about where I was. It's pretty smooth. And that's pretty smooth too. It's a little to the left of the tab. It's not quite as smooth. So it's almost to the tab. I'm going to go back to the tab to line it up with the tab again. Maybe go a little past the tab. Okay, so I think it's still, well, I, I guess I guessed pretty good on the first try because um, it's running smoothest in the same spot as it was before. So it looks like I just need, and, and just for grins and giggles, I'm going to flip this thing 180 degrees and that ought to run really terrible. It does. It kind of sounds like a flugelhorn or something. It's got a really high vibration sound to it. So that's looks like I'm on the right track here. So what I'll do is get the arm back out and hack off a little more. Blow 
blow that off with my duster. Okay, kind of show you the show you the progress here. So you see, I've cut off quite a bit of material here on the top of the arm, and then I've cut the solder tab over here. And I might have gone a little too far. I don't know. So we're gonna see. Uh, so that solder tab over here is kind of half gone, you know, compared to a, a virgin one over here. And it's it's quite a bit of material's been removed. Let's put her back together. See if I overdid it or what. Usually on one that's this bad, it would take me a few runs, you know, three or four trials as I go through this thing to, to get it to come in. That's pretty decent, really. It's got a little bit of a buzz to it, but it's, it's really pretty smooth. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, so now I, I put my... Uh, Balancer back on. I'll try to stick it in the same spot as it was, where that's lining up with the solder tab. Okay, that's not perfect. So it, you know, I, I might be pretty close. It's possible I overcorrected. I'm gonna move her around here a little bit. It's definitely not sounding better, so I'm gonna back it up. Go to the other side of the tab. There. Sounds better there. Now it sounds worse again. Sounds pretty good there. I'm kind of kind of zoning in on it. Trying to find the spot where it sounds the best. roughness now. That's where that's lined up with the tab. So this is now lined up with the pole adjacent to it. Let's see if I can find the ideal spot where it's the smoothest. Pretty smooth right there. Pretty smooth right there. Okay, now it's not smooth anymore. All right, so it looks like now I'm lining up. So here's the here's the weight here. Here's the tab I was cutting on is up here. It's actually lined up with the almost the center of the adjacent pole, at uh, just a little off center of the of the pole here. So I'm going to take my little red marker here. That's what's handy. I'm going to put a little dot on the OD of the arm there, if I can get my pen to work. Okay. Alright, so I got a little red dot, oops, got a little red dot here, so I need to cut that com underneath that red dot and then cut it's like maybe right on the tip of this lamb over here just cut this corner off up here on the top it's not this is not a big change here so I think this is going to be a fairly mild cut I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to just cut on the tip of this lamb right here that edge off. Okay. Blow it off the buster. Alright. 